Done. All right. So hello and welcome everyone. So going to be going through a couple cool leaks here today um, in modern. So first off uh, for our first leak here. So again, thanks for tuning in and also for all of you on YouTube. Really appreciate that. Um, so we'll be going through a leak here, uh, continuing on with, uh, you know, the gift storm mission, kind of uh, really trying to kind of uh, hone in again on a list that I'll be able to kind of recommend. Um, I haven't really made too many changes since yesterday. Um, again, I'm just still really kind of trying to flesh a lot of stuff out. Um, so first things first, I want to kind of highlight the small differences from yesterday. So yesterday I really went in, um, so if you can catch this or catch my uh, last video, if you're checking this on YouTube there uh, for my uh, for my last video with uh, Fetch Storm here. Went over kind of uh, the stuff with Impulse, um, where I'm at with the board. Um, I was a bit heavier on Empty the Warrens, but uh, what I've uh, since done is I've gone back to four, uh, like, more heavy on the creature removal, so I have four Lightning Bolts on the board, so kind of shave the two copies of Empty there. Um, really trying to have a little bit more interaction, and I have one copy of Empty the Warrens in the main deck, um, which is kind of nice, and that's, of course, over the uh, seventh uh, cost reducer, so the third uh, Electromancer. So really wanted to try this out. So we kind of have eight heavy hitters here. So we're actually down uh, a past in flames for that. So since we already had shaved one uh, gifts and given to go to three to have another impulse, just because we have these three wishes. So I just don't want to have too much clunk in the deck. Um, you know, we don't want to have too many uh, heavy hitters to where it's like we need to have a reducer to even really kind of make much headway. So just a small, small thing there. Oh, hey, what's up, Katra? How's it going? Yeah, I saw... Uh, Posted in uh, the Discord as well. It's awesome, like, with your success. I'm really uh, happy to hear you've been uh, crushing with it. Oh, hi, Arils. Hey, how's it going? Hope uh, you're well, too. Yeah, doing all right. Um, But uh, pretty excited here to kind of um, continue on. So, again, so same mana base as before. You know, just, again, fetches since we have um, Underworld Breach here in our sideboard. Um, I don't have the Blood Moon currently in our board as well. So, if you do have that, you know, another reason why it's just, hey, a little bit extra value, you know, over Fetchless does not in any way make Fetchless, like, you know, bad or anything, but why we have these kind of uh, slight differences, you know, um, from what is, I guess, the usual here. Um, pretty awesome. Yeah. You found the wishboard too slow? Okay, that makes sense. Yeah. My issue that I've been finding is that, like, the graveyard just never really exists, so it's like, like, I've been running into that more issue. Like, the wish has been really good for me, mainly just kind of sidestepping. So I'm, I'm, maybe I'm just, like, pressing different buttons. Um, but it's like, I really like that you're having success in a different area. Like, that's awesome. Um, I guess we can try this. Oh, right, it's up, Jay. So, hope all is well, though. But, uh, glad you're able to make it. I hope this also makes the, the waiting time uh, much better for you. All right. Okay, let's see Meyer. Hmm. Oh, I'll play Misty, say go, see what they do. Uh, not Scam? Oh, I mean, I don't... I mean, if we're playing against Scam, that's not, like, bad, intrinsically. Like... They have their, like, LOL, like, double grief you on turn one type draws. But, like, you know, if we dodge a lot of that stuff, um, it, like, the matchup, it's kind of, um, not in any way trying to say it's, like, great or anything, but it's not, uh, as terrifying as that, you know, because that, that type of start, like, beats everyone, right? So that is kind of a nice little consolation prize. All right, consider. Um, we do not need land four right now. We need like other stuff. Not bad. So I guess we're up against. Um, I'm actually just gonna do all this main phase. So consider. Yes, I want that because I'm also going to Serum Visions here. So I'm assuming we're up against Creativity, most likely, or it could be Jund. Very well, could be Jund. Um, bottom top. Yeah. Thinking we might be up against Jund Creativity. Could also be just normal Jund uh, Saga. <laughs> Jund Saga. Cool. Might be. Because the Inquisition to me is what's kind of making me think this is not uh, 
creativity. Okay. We took our ritual. I'm assuming this is the second discard spell or two mana creature. Oh, okay. Or they're just keeping up removal. That's fine too. So we're drawing another ritual. That's nice. Um, I will Serum Visions. I'm just gonna bottom top. Shock myself. Um, I'm gonna keep the impulse there. So like, if they see what they do on their turn. Um, they know I have an impulse, so like kneeling up, like I'm not giving them information, so I'm, I'm willing to spew these two life points if um, their turn's uneventful enough to where it might just be better for us to draw the desperate and then do stuff. Tarmagoof. Hello. Hello, Tarmagoof. So, we have a Tarmagoof there. Thus, um, I'm going to draw my card. Can I kill you? Gun doesn't run main deck. Uh, watch my thoughts right now. I don't think um, endurance. I'm just trying to do the math if they're dead. Um, let's see. And this is like I'm assuming that they have removal for my electromancer. So if I play scalding tarn, fetch a red source, I can desperate splice. Desperate, that's seven mana. That's the magic number for Wish with uh, Underworld Breach. If I do such a thing, I will be adding uh, one, two, three, four cards to my graveyard by casting Wish. Um, thus, the number in graveyard will be 11. 11 cards in my graveyard means I can uh, do stuff one, two, three times. So if we go to seven, down to two, back up to five. And I cast the second witch, that'd be 12. Um, nope, we don't have enough. Calling turn, pass. So that might have been a lot that I just kind of uh, went through, but on their turn, I will gladly clarify. If anyone has any questions, you know, of course, feel free to ask. Um, so basically, what I was thinking there was desperate, like, you know, if I sack, sack this, I can desperate splice using all four, go to six. Then you cast another desperate, then that's seven mana. Um, then you can, uh, wish, use three of it, go to four, then go to two to Underworld Breach. Um, they were tapped down to only black and red, so Abrupt Decay and stuff were not online, so an important thing to remember. I think this impulse, though, is a little bit better. And also to note is in that sequence, um, you'll notice that I never mentioned the Cardinal Goblin Electromancer. My reasoning was, if we assume removal, um, the only, only thing we can do is play it. After that, have two red up, and you can writ, and then respond to removal to get the other writ to go up to six. But then six mana doesn't really help, and Wish being a sorcery, of course, means you can't really uh, get its reduction there. Okay, they don't run endurance. Good to know. Yeah, yeah. Unfortunately, we didn't have the kill independent since we, if we'd had enough to double grape shot them, was kind of the idea. All right, you got it. Um, do I want to fetch first? Uh, impulse. Oh, hello. Um, how dead are you? If I do this correctly, so I'm just thinking if it's like worth it to take past in flames or um another writ. Yeah, I'll describe actually writ. They can go all go back in my deck. Then I will fetch here. I want to shuffle that um, piff back in my deck. So, you know, if we draw it, it's like, that's cool. Um, not, don't really care. The reason I took the writ there is it makes me less committed to the graveyard. So that's kind of the important part there. Um, hmm. so yeah, fetch island here. Unfortunate part of it not having the fourth steam vents. I've noticed that that's kind of come up a little bit with electros as well. Um, kind of a small thing. So here, it's not really. Or let's see. So if I cast electromancer and then cast a writ, I can respond with another writ. Then I have seven. I have eight mana. Or if I just do all this independently, it's five to six to eight. Um. Or wait a sec. So if I desperate splice desperate, 
Then I cast Electromancer. Then I can... Ooh, that's even better. Um, right? Yeah, because if I Desperate Splice Desperate, and I go up to seven, then I can tap blue, like my Steam Vents here, use one of it, go to five red floating, then use two red to cast Wish. See if they respond. Um, if they choose to, then I can writ twice um, afterwards. So this goes from so six, seven, then minus two is five, seven, nine, seven. Yeah, this is much better. I want to get them to cast spells. They're 12. And I can't, uh, since I can't, I didn't have three red sources, I couldn't cast all three of these desperates in response to a removal spell or two. Um, oh, Castro, uh, green for a third bear? Um, no. Uh, I also, I don't already maximize the number of Electromancers, so, like, adding a third color there then just makes you more vulnerable, they're then more likely to have to fetch shock. It's not that a third color is, like, awful or anything, but, um, like, with green in particular, um, like, you know, there's an Archomancer, things like that, like, that you don't really gain much. Um, if you want a third name, there's already, like, kind of three mana cards, um, with that, but, like, adding an additional color is a real cost, like that, you know, with setup. Um, you're forced to like, kind of fetch for it. Also, we can't really run a Triome in our deck uh, because we need to cantrip on one, and it's kind of bad. Like, you know, like a tap land. You know, you also never want to draw it later. Like, you see how many times we get uh, kind of wrecked with um, Fireball Canal. Like, excellent question, though. Um, like, yeah. Like, I also don't like Gifts for Bears as often. Like, I think, like, Noxious would probably be the better option there just because it's not going to require you to start running green um since you can just play life though um if you really really want that uh kind of bonus so i will cast um wish so this is a sorcery that's why i'm doing it first i want i want them to respond all right ritual do you have more responses negative ritual Okay. Cool. I have sideboard. I have seven mana available. So one thing that's also kind of awesome is we have seven. So what would be the best option? I don't think like they're only at 12. So technically what I could do here is bolt them. That'd be Storm 7, then Storm 8 would be Wish, and then Storm 9. So I have those two options, actually. So kind of a tough one. So if I play around... Actually, I'm going to play around... Um, some stuff. So I'm going to play Breach and see what they do. Uh, if they have Abrupt Decay, I don't care, uh, since I have 5 red in pool. So what I will do is first cast a Ritual... Exile three lands, sure, whatever. Yep, Bolt Grape Shot definitely just killed them. I'm playing around like life gain of any kind off of two mana, even if it's one. Yeah, but hey, let's, I hope uh, doing well, Dollar. How many uh, angry geese I could take on in a fight at once? Um, if I have Rose and Wilt backing me up, I might be able to take one down. <laughs> But I kind of need them to help me a bit. So yeah, so what I did there, so if they had Abrupt Decay, since I had five mana in pool, I used two to go to three. So if they responded to the Abrupt Decay, um, or like my ritual, I could still ritual in response with another one. Right. Oh, well, yeah, you, you are correct. Yeah. Fun fact, actually, uh, Wilt, for anyone, uh, it's been familiar. Ooh, let's see, so I have nine. Um, might as well wish from the yard then. Uh, he's at, he actually uh has proven himself to be a good mouser. So yeah, his uh he has proven himself quite a bit recently. It's been awesome. Um, cool. There's that. I will then ritual. Cool. Um. Dead you, and I have the ability to grape shot again if you if I need it, since I have three in the graveyard. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah. 
That's gonna be the new uh new goal for for Walt and Rose though. They they are the defenders. And we got him. Alrighty, that was sweet. Um, do not like Electro Man series. I'll shave actually one or two brawls. Um, I have a brawl there. What do I want to board in in this matchup? Um, hmm. I'm gonna actually board in the empty. As weird as that seems, since I kind of don't mind being clunky. Actually, mm, no, I have three wishes. Now, I want the third bolt, since I only have the, that many spaces. Yeah, three lighting bolt. Let's me randomly solve, like, scavenging news, other nonsense. Going upstairs, since their life total is also, like, somewhat precarious for them. Yeah. Ooh, this hand's fine. Basically, really all we need to do is... uh. Make land drops and things. Sweet. Game vents. Yes. I would like to shock myself. Um. I'm gonna top both. Raising dares. I want all my land drops. Um. Again, here. This this matchup is. Um. It's not what it used to be. Where like you know endurance is been printed other you know they, they'll probably give even like you know since they're saga they might even be able to tutor up one mana artifact hate you know stuff that we've been used to before but we can't just really be on the grind to piff plan so that used to be good for us many years ago Ten and six on a clock my misty say go so have up our remand just in case um there is a morphos underneath where what i would like but it's also not mission critical so i'm not really so what's really nice here is this not isn't a heavy tension between like do i need to consider for the top card or um batch first stuff like that uh what are my thoughts on this list but fetchless um Okay, you can not see me. Uh, I think that, like, I mean, fetches are slightly better, but it's not, like, I mean, if you're starting out there, like, building up to this, like, I think that that's totally reasonable. Um, hmm. Like, but I, I think that it's like, yeah, like, with, with fetchless, you're giving up a few percentage points just because we also have breach on our board, stuff like that. So we actually have, like, real benefits from the fetch lands. Um, just one small thing there. I'm going to keep, the Morphos is just too good and free. Um, we might want to go off next turn, so I'd rather thin my library. Fair. Uh, negative. Um, hmm. I don't care. I'm going to say go. I don't really see a good line there. Like, I don't really, like, for instance, like, I, I know I get to see three cards off these Morphoses, but I'm not terrified yet. Um, this could be bad, like, this could end up being wrong, but I think that what we were given there, since, like, we're not really creating a lot of vulnerability since they tapped out there, like, really, so. Just want to keep going until I kind of know what I want to do. Good card? Ooh, very good card. Um, hmm. We're 12. So we could take three minus a six, so nine. Okay, yeah, I'll pass one more time. Mm hmm. Alrighty. I will take three. Ow. So I will go to eight. Get an island. Do I get blown out? That is the question. You got it? 
you don't. I was afraid of Veil Summer, but there, you know, there's no real playing around some of this stuff, so it's like, oh, okay. Um, I'm assuming Graveyard Hate of some kind. So if true, um, what do I want to grab here? Desperate. Serum. Consider. I don't really want to go to my graveyard. Because I think they might have, like, there's just no way they don't have a way to interact, right? Um. Go on Wish. Kind of. Yeah, if I go Consider Serum. Desperate. Or actually, no Desperate. I'll grab, um. Morphos. Impulse. I think is the correct play here. Like, they have seven cards in hand. So I think I need to try to go for some value. Like, it could be that I'm priced into Graveyard, but, like, something just doesn't seem right. Like, I think there's, like, one to two pieces of, it, like, possible interaction of it. I'm not thinking that it's, like, oh, they have just, like, a cascade of things. It's, like, I think that they have a fair amount of removal in their hand. So, we might as well. Also, like, we could get blown out by Weather the Storm. Important thing to remember. I also didn't want to get any of my payoffs since uh, they're not going to give them to us. That was really good. Um, so here what I want to do actually is ritual first once. So I'm going to ritual. Then I'm going to cast Baral. So the reason I'm doing this is so I have three red floating. So if they have a cast, like just a cascade of removal, um, I can maximize the... Uh, Morphosis. So, in other words, in order for the, us not to be able to fire off all four of these, they would have to have um, triple removal spell, which, if they're going to cast three removal spells, probably taps them low enough to where I'm okay with that. Oh, just, oh, awesome. Glad to hear it. Heck yeah. Alright, blue-red. Morphos? But like they definitely have more like I would assume they have more than one and oh okay. Uh I have responses. Morphos. Uh blue red. I will. Ooh, that's actually an interesting conundrum. Not gonna use it though. Like so what I could do here is actually bounce this, but then I'd have to use two of that. I wouldn't have much mana, so I'm actually going to just impulse in response since I saved mana. Let's just see what's up. Like, if they use another... Oh, hello. Um, Hi, Empty the Warns. Well, I'm going to grab Empty here over anything else. My reasoning is... Uh... None of the other, like, getting a ritual there or something, like, we're, we don't have any payoffs guaranteed. So here I'll actually make blue-blue. Since it's, to maximize that, we're not casting any other bears in response. Cool. That resolves. And then this resolves. Then I can, and I still have a land drop this turn. Super nice. Sarah? We have Impulse, Reman. Neither of these could actually really do anything this turn. So I'm going to bottom both of these. Cast Serum. Oh, Strike it Rich. Nice. Um, all right, we're going for the kill. Serum. Wish. This. Up. Dragon Rich. Red. Grape Shot. You. You got it? 
all the clickies. Yeah, fail case throughout all this was I cast those two, um, whatchamacallits, uh, Serum Visions, and then, like, we'd have four left over, you know, and then one more with the land, but, like, enough left over to empty. We didn't hit anything for a billion. That was kind of my fail case thought process. All right, that was cool. We are 1-0. and Not a bad way to start. Um, sure, I'll try those. Seems interesting. Oh, is this the gold deck? Yep. That sucks for us. Oh, oh, this isn't troll. Okay, cool. Still sucks for us, but... So this is the, I believe, uh, pitch, or like the solitude hammer build. Like, I had to give them one card draw there. Next turn, we're going to Baral, but... They have two solitudes usually main deck. Mm-hmm. Okay. Well, if they don't have hammer, otherwise I think they would have just hammered there, maybe. No, oh, no, they wouldn't. I guess play around bolt. But they don't have any mana up. That's good. Um, if we draw Morphos, we go for it. Not Morphos. I'm gonna play Baral, say go. Do you have it? Hmm. Well, if they didn't Solitude, that's good. Maybe they don't have Solitude. It'd be awesome if they can't kill me. Oh, they just have it. Okay. Well, we're probably dead then. Like, if they have the, the Solitude. If they don't have Hammer, then we're fine. Cool. What you got? Oh, okay, equip. They have one card in hand. Um, not bad. Um, I'm actually going to play Strike It Rich. Okay. Pay for it. Like, I'm, I was dead last turn to the Hammer anyway with that Solitude, since they could activate Ink Moth, play, play Hammer to equip then reactivate so i wasn't too right there so i'm going to consider it here just so i don't have to pay attacks later again uh put that in my graveyard don't want a second one um huh i'm actually willing to sack this because uh i think that we have to do some work here yeah, I'm going to bottom this, top this, I think. Yeah, I think I just have to hope for two turns now. So I'm not sure. We have to get to that fifth land. Just hope they can't draw a hammer or a way to get to it. Sure. The other card in their hand, like, what did they exile again? Uh, okay, Core Outfitter. Cool, cool, cool. All right, that's an impulse. Um, I'm actually going to, I think, fetch here, go to 17. Again, it's like my life total is not too relevant as long as it's pretty high there. Um, strike it, Rich. Pay for it. Yes. There you go. Then next turn, like, basically I'm setting it up. It's like if I randomly top deck a bear to kind of maximize that. All right, Ginger Brute's fine. That was off the top, since they would have played that last turn. Oh, ready, Jetra, go. Oh, hey, how's it going? Really, uh, glad to see you again. Hope you've been well. Eh, doing all right. Have a, like, actually, uh, this past week has been, um my life really amazing um i have some stuff kind of working up in uh my pipeline to kind of uh really really uh get my life like smooth to where um i have a, a second um kind of job i've taken up that you know again this is like a not a it will not uh interfere with 
my streaming hours here, but also like really uh, makes it so I can do all of this just to be awesome with all of us. Like, you know, like really helps there with uh, mentally. And also it'll be uh, something that involves me interfacing. So if y'all just want to even like say hey or something, definitely uh, pay attention to Twitter for that. Um, hmm. What do I want to do here? So, do I want to fade one more time or not? So, let's see. So, like, them drawing cards is terrifying, because, like, you know, any top deck that's a hammer or a way to get a hammer, kind of game over. Um, do I need the strike at rich is the question. So, or, like, what can I hit off of impulse? So, if I impulse here, if I pay for it, that's three... Then that's four mana. And if I have four, five, six, and like even if I hit a uh whatchamacallit, it doesn't help. Um by whatchamacallit, I mean a uh payoff spell. So I'm gonna pass, actually. So I can impulse and do stuff on their turn if I need to. Getting the extra mana from Strike and Rich is relevant, but I think that Everything else is more relevant. Oh, no, yeah, the cream, uh, yeah, none of that's at the expense. It's more like, you know, what I can do to basically make this, like, the real labor of love I want it to be. For all y'all, it's all the, yeah, no, this is just the awesomeness. Okay. There. Oh, you just drew hammer. Must be nice. Um, do I have any way to deal with that? Ugh. That hurts. Yeah, like I just don't think I really had any way to do anything here. We drew a hammer. And also we drew remaz. Yeah, like again here we're seeing the I don't have any way to interact with stuff main deck. Kind of sucks. Maybe I should have, um, yeah, maybe I should have impulsed main phase because of, uh, whatchamacallit, um, uh, wish, like a wish line or something that lets me machine gun the board with, uh, shattering spree. Yeah. I mean, I still would have died to this. Yeah. Like in here, there's just nothing I get to do really. I don't think I have any way to interact with this. Yeah, I have zero ways. All right. Yeah, cool. Yep. My, I guess, no, no, I should have uh, impulsed first so I could uh, use Ottawara. I punted that. Yep, should have impulsed first. I forgot about Ottawara. Cool. All right. So hopefully I can play this one more competently. But yeah, this one definitely want all the lightning bolts. Bring in the flame slash. Shattering spree. Um, hmm. Empty's not great in this matchup. I'll leave in a uh, Electromancer. I'm shaving one of each ritual here, you'll notice, and that's because um, it's really... We're not looking to ritual much. We're looking to just, like, kill everything um, in play. Like, I boarded in the Shattering spree, which may be incorrect. Actually, let me leave out the Shattering spree, keep in the Electromancer. Yeah. This is better. Why did we lose that game? We li we literally never drew a gifts ungiven or saw one. Yeah, we we never did any gift stuff. We did not see a another reducer or another payoff. Just bad draws. I mean, like yeah, we just saw nothing really. Um as you saw in those turns where we just had to fade, like, you know, we were drawing three mans, uh, four writs, like, you know, just waiting to draw a payoff, uh, the one impulse. So, you know, not bad. I should have maybe impulsed, like, one turn sooner. And also, if I had impulsed instead of remanded there, we would have had an out. So, small stuff. Yeah. But yeah, the game played out entirely differently. Um, but it happens. All right, we'll keep. They'll have all four solitudes. Um, not really worried, uh, 
about this Electromancer on, in that regard, mainly because it's the, well, if they're going to Solitude, like, there's not really much I'd be able to do anyway, and, like, their other removal, even in the non-Solitude builds, is the uh, March, which, you know, it's all stuff that, like, is up to speed to, like, kind of, they can still, like, further their game plan while uh, removing our creature, because one in zero mana, like, their, their stuff's also low CMC, so they're still able to function, so it doesn't, like, fundamentally change the, the matchup to be just, like, unplayable or something but you know a little bit harder of course um but just small stuff there they did mull a lot important uh solitude normal um i mean that it's one of the versions like one of the mono white versions is with that but uh i believe it top aided either a challenge or four to prelim or something but like you know had a nice result people are uh getting down with it all right um I'm not going to play my Electromancer here. It just seems fishy. Like, they have one wide open. Um, just no reason for me to expose it, right? I'm under no pressure. Okay. Like, I'll use it as a lightning rod on uh, my turn. What did they grab? Paldra? Okay, that's good. All right. Collect a buzz. Yeah. I drew Baral here, so... Sacrificial Offering. Oh, I forgot I need to grab my coffee in a second. That's the good stuff. <laughs> Them grabbing Cauldra there is, is, is a good feel. Like, I'm assuming they will s solitude me on instep. Oh, okay. They didn't do it last time, they did it on main phase, so maybe they were waiting for a white card, not sure. So, but, you know, play this here, why not? Um, if they remove it, so be it. If not, cool. Um, I'm down with that. Alright, Esper Sentinel's fine. They have four cards in hand. What are we doing? Alright, we're getting hit for five. No blocks. Do good things happen to us now? We're in your end step. Why are you doing this in your end step? I am the confused. This is fine. I gain two. I'm at 16. Sure. All right. Ritual. Eh, plus, um, hmm. What do I have on my sideboard? Do we have anything good? So if I grab Rit Rit Morphos, anything, is that good? Not sure. So what do they have to do on their turn? They'd have to do that. I could absorb three of it so that's 15 16 17 so it'd be 18 okay i can deal with that electromancer um yeah rit rit morphos grape shot i do that with one then they give me grape shot all right now we'll we'll just say fire bluff go there's no real good line this turn, so I know I'm very dead to a lot of stuff. But they couldn't put, um, like, the fact that they couldn't get a Cigar aid off of this is huge. Um, like, for instance, like, since, like, you know, for the, uh, the Urza Saga trigger, that was, like, a big part of, um, that, so it's, if it, if they had to play a Paladin, I could still theoretically live with, with blocking, because then they have a 15-15 if they, uh, do that and then equip here. And I take two um, plus um, 12 there. So I'd be able to survive was the uh, the thought process. Uh, yes, which ritual last turn would have been um, a win because we would have been able to play the mountain instead, have two uh, tap two lands, Casper all, then have two untapped. And they only had one card in hand. So I would be able to um, writ, writ, gifts ungiven, then have three mana floating kind of, 
the old school uh, standard issue uh, kill then. Cool, take five. Get one guard man. All right. My turn to do the fun. Ritual. Um, rit. Pay for it. Uh, my res like you definitely want to pay for it here because they have one card in hand, so they don't just randomly uh, solitude. Gives target you. Morphos. Pyretic. Desperate. Uh, past in flames. So rit rit morphos piff done. All right, not bad. Rit, rit. Cool. And they are at twenty. Um. Yeah. We can just go flashback. Fast in flames. We have the wish in hand, so we'll we'll have re access to our graveyard if we need it. Blue blue. Yes, target you. Uh writ. Grape shot. Uh ritual morphos. Or I guess instead of a rituals, or what if a yeah, this is fine, right? Yeah, this is fine. We have to be a little careful with this build since we only have one piff main compared to the usual. Not bad. Rit, rit, sitter, graveyard, a bolt, consider. Graveyard. Yeah, Striker Rich, so that helps us filter a little bit. Striker Rich, it is a free spell because, you know, generates as well. Wish, right? Or cancel here so I can bolt you. Flashback Striker Rich. Wish. Um, Grape Shot you. I didn't even have to go back into the graveyard. Just for more for muscle memory. Yep, I have one pith main in this build since we have uh, the three wishes. Just really experimenting around with lots of stuff. Yep. And we have a breach and another pith in the sideboard. Um. Yeah. Yeah, this is a bit of a crazy build, I guess. What we've been used to. <laughs> um. Did they maul? Or did they keep? Um, well, I mean, we're keeping this hand, too. Like, this hand's great. To start. Like, might not get there, but... Ooh. No play on turn one? I like that. Is this a Sanctifier on turn two? Because that's fine, too. Um... I have a Flame Slash here. I'm actually going to bottom the Flame Slash, top the land. Uh, my reasoning for that was... If they have Sanctifier, um, none of my removal hits it anyway, and if that's their main game plan, like, sure. Um, I can get blown out a little bit, you know, but I have a Bolt here and they didn't have a turn one play. Uh, okay, Dranith Magistrate, also don't care. Um, here, I'm going to... Fetch... I'm just going to Bolt this main phase. I don't really care about the Magistrate, but might not have been needed to um, ritual there. But my reasoning is that Magistrate could be an issue later in the game, uh, depending how long stuff goes. So if I play Baral there, um, they kept seven. Like, odds of them having a Solitude, very non-zero. So, like, if they Solitude me, plus, say, this turn, Hammer, whatever. Like, get a Hammer equipped onto the Draenith. That kind of scares me. So that was a bit of my motivation there. Uh, consider. Do I want this? Right now I'm considering that my, my game will go to turn four. No, I don't want this. All right. This is fine. 
Odds of us hitting another land are decently high. Oh, wow, that was not great. So us not hitting land then now is unfortunate. Yes, I would like to do that. I will say go. See, I guess bending that land might have been a bit greedy. Um, even just because it's like, I'm probably making every land drop. They're going to make a Saga token on end step. Untap. And do what? I want to I want to see what they also get. Like, I also still, I do maintain the ability here to EOT ritual gifts. Um, could be good. Sure, that's terrifying. Since they didn't make another token. Like, that was the probable plan of action from them. Like, I also maintain the ability here to impulse plus, um, bolt. Okay, what's this? Granith? Okay, I don't care. Hammer? Okay. I take three. That's fine. All right. Um. So, they, like, I'm like firmly convinced they have blacksmith skill up for their Dranith. So therefore, given that that's the case, I think what I want to do is impulse. See what I can find. Then do weird stuff with Baral. So if I can find land on this. Helps next turn. If I don't find land on this, I can find Bolt, maybe. Try to kill Draineth. Then they tap out. Then on my turn, I could do stuff if I want to. Or maybe something else. Like, basically, like, optionality is the name of the game right now for us. A little bit. Hmm. Well, I definitely take here the land, just because we need to. The only other, like, basically out of this, if I had a fourth land, say, send to this pip or something, or I kept the other, um, I'd be inclined to take the wish, because that's, um, or actually, um, no, I'd probably take, actually, yeah, still probably inclined to take the wish, do something with gifts to try to figure out a way to remove that. Um, anyway. They have the blacksmith skill, it could be a problem. But we have a lot of removal, so now, now definitely also the bottoming of the uh, flame slash. Is coming back to bite us a little bit. All right. Play this. Fetch Mountain. Oh, just oh, awesome. Up, uh... Wheat. All right. Feral. Do you has removal? I assume you do. Cast Morphos. Uh, blue red, I guess. Yeah. Unfortunate. Yeah, this is now this is all looking real bad since that, you know, again, here we drew the one of Piff. But yeah, I'm definitely getting maximum punishment for that. Uh, turn there. Um, oh, I should have added blue blue because then I could serum plus this. Ah, that was a big punt. Um, Yeah, I, I played this very badly. Should have made blue blue. That was a real big pun since I already had the serum there. Um, flame slash, bolt, uh, grape shot, dragon rich. Yeah, I guess. I should assume that the, yeah, I guess, like, yeah, like, I should have played around, like, the four Dranith Magistrates also really hurt us, since I'm pretty, uh, wish-focused. Mm-hmm. Force you to have it. Do you have the thingy? Like, I'm dead to it anyway, like, nothing I can really do. Ooh, we're not dead. <laughs> Holy crap, we're not dead. They exiled the blacksmith skill. Okay. Alright, we take five. That's fine. 
All right, deck. Happy go lucky fun time commence. Um, if I can draw a ritual here, that's really big. Because if I draw a ritual, then I can kill things. All right, or bear into stuff. All right, Morphos is not bad. So I will. I have to Serum Visions here, I think. Try to find a way to deal with stuff. Um, I think I just bottom both. Like, do they have lethal on board? They have one, two, three, four, five. They do not. Rit or Morphos, sorry, blue red. Morphos. Can I get blue red? Okay. Uh, for all. Dragon Ridge. Your turn. Have the gifts, yeah. Honestly, drawing gifts there was awful. Um, because we're not going to be able to utilize this really effectively, I don't think. Like, we might be able to, like, find a way to kind of, like, get, make some value with it, but, e That's fine. Hammer's fine. This is a tough one. What do I do here? Do I block? If they have the skill in hand, I'm dead. If they don't have exactly blacksmith skill, I can kill them. I'm one short on my turn. If I wish, I could grab Shattering Spree. Uh, I'm dead. Am I dead? Hey, oh, we got a one. <laughs> yeah, we can win this turn. Sweet. Like, my reasoning there for the blacksmith skill, not like, I pegged them on it um, from earlier where we had it, you know, they held up a magistrate. This was either like a, that type of draw or, you know, paladin, which they've clearly not had. Um, and since they exiled one, that's why I took the risk there. And since it's, if we had, say, a land in hand over this gift, so say this gift was a land, I would have blocked there. My reasoning is then I'd have six mana next turn, so I could, you know, assuming it's not Spiral Canal, of course, um, so I could Plast in Flames, go off without a bear. Why did they activate Ink Moth? To deal me one more damage. Because it turns into an artifact. That's why they did it last turn, too. Um... Yeah, that was a cool suspense. Our opponent played that that really well on the, the suspense part. I appreciate them doing that for us. All right, cool. Boop. And you're very dead. Thanks for playing. Did you concede? Got him. 2-0. Oh. No, they are on the play. This hand's fine. See what you're doing. Oh, crap. No, nap cam. Um, yeah, I'm not. I'm currently located not at uh, my home for these weeks, so I don't have uh, cam up. Not sure how the Wi Fi internet here will be able to handle me so don't want anything to, to to want the stream to be as good for all y'all as possible um well crap well i mean we're racing go ahead so since we're racing um the turn one strike at rich enables more possibilities like we could just be like dead on turn three so that's why i'm a bit terrified yep they don't have um, Amulet in play, though. That's huge. So I'm going to play my island here first. This is just in case I draw into um, another Strike at Rich. So they can cast um, Titan next turn. A tough matchup. I mean, you can run Moon in the board. I currently just don't have Moon. Um, like, yeah, like, would it be great in this situation? Of course. Um, but, like, you know, we're purely racing. 
is kind of the the dealio. Ooh, hello. Um, let me math. Let's see. Nine. Nine is the number. All right. Um, hold up. Nah, I can't do anything with that. So yeah, bottom, top. Go ahead, opponent. <laughs> remand our, their Titan. I mean, they can cast Titan this turn, so we're not going to get to remand it. That would be sweet, though. Because this is also naming Dryad. Or, or, and also, like, Aether Gust, I'm not a big fan of. Um, since, again, like, you know, it's kind of, like, going down narrow rabbit holes. Um, like, I, I kind of just want, like, if I want something, I'd have, like, one Blood Moon in the sideboard, which I have had in the past, to, uh... Doesn't Reman get around Cavern? No, not at all. There's an Amulet of Vigor. Good deal. All right, they have one card in hand. Next turn is bad. Yeah, unsub or the new card, right? The new white uh, color shifted uh, remand. That card's pretty sweet. If any of you have seen that, like, I think that card seems awesome. Um, all right, so we have access to four, five, six, seven, eight, nine mana. That was before. We have access to nine. I can. Yeah, so we'll boop. Boop. Okay. Uh they're paused because like, you know, they have active uh sagas. I was trying to think like, wait. Oh yeah, they they'd be F6. Like they don't they could also have another besager in hand. Like I'm just trying to think of the things that they would be able to use to interact in some capacity. Um Cool. Yeah, so I can go writ. Right. Or wait a second. Is it it's not better to hold the writ, yeah, no. Since I don't have a third desperate. If I had a third desperate ritual, it would possibly be better to keep it. All right. Six available. Cool. And I have four of these in my graveyard. Um, which one do I want to use? Or, wait a second. How much mana do I have? And I have eight cards in graveyard, so I can get to nine, and that gives me one more. So I can use two flashbacks of uh, stuff for my graveyard, right? And I'd still have four available. So if I have four available, wish, or four, then I can go up to five, six, huh? Or wait a second, so if I, actually if I grab that, go to two, or go to four, then I can go to five, six, cast wish, go to three, then go back up to four. No, so I can't do much else there. Um, hmm. Because yeah, alternatively it's cast past in flames right here, Go to two, then go back up to six. Wish. Go to three. Um. Yeah. Um. I have six available. Yeah. We just have to uh do the thing. All right. Have it in hand, please. Yeah, what all did they play out last turn? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, they did not have enough mana. Yeah, ignite memories. Target you. All right. I'm just trying to think if there's any better option here. Nope. Storm is six. Or I guess I'll... Yeah, no. We're just going to try to kill you this way. Hope that the card in your hand is Titan. Past in Flames doesn't do it for us. Uh, my reasoning there, so if I grab Past in Flames, it'd be the sixth spell, and then sev uh, 7, 8, 9, 10 
would be from graveyard, then it'd be eleven. I didn't have enough to go through the motions and then uh Oh, well, F me. We're dead. I guess I should have uh yeah, if I would have been able to get more storm count, that would have been good. Because yeah, if I would have gone up to six, or just use two for underworld breach. Go to four, five, six. Down one. Yeah, I was one mana short the whole way of casting Ignite again. So yeah. All right. Well, was one spell short there. Wish Bolt next turn. We don't get a next turn. I don't think. Yeah. Or maybe we do. Yeah. Yeah, we do. Duh. What would I have drawn? Yeah. Wish Bolt next turn. They did not have Titan. Yeah. I, I don't know why I can see it there. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm just mentally just an idiot. I'm fine. Yeah. All right. Cool. I'm sure you all hate me now. Um. Yeah, sorry about that. I'm terrible. I just, for some reason, had those two golems doing all the work. Yeah. Like, so next turn, what they could do is... Huh. Are we dead? If they... And they had five mana, so they could make a token. Untap. Grab, um, amulet. Uh, that. Yeah, no, I played that badly. Sorry, I'm worthless idiot. Um, point that out. Um, what do I want to board in? I think I'll board in one flame slash because it kills uh, Dryad over the empty. Sure, keep. <laughs> Alright. I'm gonna play that. God. Mm-hmm. Oh, am I just dead on turn two? No. Okay, cool. Alright. You're dead. They are F6, so kind of nice. Rit. Yeah, if they have, like, basically here, I don't think I have the luxury really of playing around uh, anything. Past and Flames. Done. Rit, Rit. Tap. Gifts. Since I have six, seven, eight mana, so I can use three, go to five. Yeah, that's good. Target you. And we win. So, that was third game because I punted round one, or game one. So, want to make any changes? Not really. Like, it's really just, you know, pure racing matchup. Alright, they have seven, so. Probably dead. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, we're dead. <laughs> worst possible. Literal worst possible. I'm going to top both just to make it seem scarier. Whatever. <laughs> Since that's a fetch land, unfortunately, so we can't can't even uh keep it there too easily because I'm, I'm very much priced into just jamming a bear. Oh, wow. Oh, oh, never mind. That untaps, so it doesn't matter. Cool. A third amulet? Oh, no, just making it now. Okay. All right, I'm dead. How do I know I'm dead? I mean, they kept seven. <laughs> I mean... Yeah, <laughs> they kept seven. Also, you'll notice they didn't copy here beforehand, so it doesn't matter. 
Like, yeah, they have a method to put, uh, if they can put a Titan into play this turn, I'm dead. Like, yeah, they, there is, like, of course, like, the shot that we're not, but. Azusa? Okay. If you have Titan, just, just show me, please. Oh, oh, okay, you're gonna have to fetch for it. Noted. All right, I'm just gonna concede here. They're gonna get Titan. Yeah. All right. Well, could have won the match if I was not a worthless garbage can who serves no purpose. But let's get into our next match. I'll try those. Ten's reasonable. We have a um, decent game plan here. Uh, going to just shock in steam vents on one. Um, This way I can, if I have, if I want to fetch a basic island with this, I can kind of, uh, my reasoning there, since I have to fetch shock on that anyway, so minimize life loss if it does happen to matter. So, no argument. Okay, so we're up against possible prowess. No, okay. The storm deck. So I'm assuming it's roll breach. All right, time to draw a brawl. Close. All right, your turn, opponent. That Morphos there was really nice, though. Mm-hmm. Like, they have to have a lot of mana in hand if they were milled that ritual. That was... Or they just... Yeah, like in just like everywhere, they're just trying to find the payoff. Could be reasonable. All right, and a galvanic. Make this a big galvanic turn. Please do that, opponent. Sure. Tapped. Interesting. All right. Well, we're not dead then. <laughs> So I'm actually not going to fetch shock with this. We have two red sources in case it's like um, an electromancer that we have to get. Wondering what they're holding up if it's a bolt. Hmm. Electabuzz. Found it. <laughs> All right, land, please. Ritual is also acceptable. Um, yeah, ritual. So I'm guessing one ritual first, since it doesn't stop. If they're F6, doesn't doesn't stop anything. But um, by me doing this, if they have the bolt, um, I can respond with two uh, morphoses after. All right, that's pretty good. Uh, Morphos. Blue red. Red. All right. We have all the stuff. We get to have all the fun now. We have all those. I'm going to cast uh, Past in Flames. So we can just go ham. Yeah. I didn't know if they'd have Bolt or not. Like, not all versions run Bolt main deck, but... Wanted to uh, at least make sure. I guess, yeah, we'll just rack up the storm count at this point. Play blue source, sure. Impulse. Yeah, scribe gift, sure, why not? Wish. Uh, grape shot you. All right, got him. <laughs> Gifts better than girl. Yeah, I mean, we were on the play. That's a big portion. Um, 
interesting though. So what do we do post board? We're on the draw. What are they going to have? Definitely don't want the empty. Remands are medium. I like Fluster's a little better. They're gonna they they have um Veil of Summer in their deck. Since they will have that, because I do have gifts. What if I just board in three bolts? We're on the draw. Yeah, I will try this. This might seem really weird, but like the two bolts, since they're very centric about um, Dragon's Rage Channeler, I think that the likelihood we're uh, able to hit something is is decently high for like quick starts. So like having a couple bolts to do that, and I, we could just randomly do some other stuff. It might be that I even want three. That's like one thing I'm thinking about. Um, since I'm on the draw. Actually, I'm going to board out one more, board in a Lightning Bolt. My reasoning here is on the draw, and they have three, uh, they have bolts, so they'll probably board in a few of those, and also they have, like, three Grape Shots main, so they have, and, like, so they're able to, like, kill our turn two reducer more often through stuff. So I just want to, you know, have another way to, like, stop them, since they're also, like, fundamentally faster than us, too, um, with this. Like, you know, just when we're racing, they are, like, at least a half a turn faster than us. Mm hmm Mm-hmm. What do we cast in? Is this Abundant Harvest? Nope, that one. I'm just going to kill it now before they get any scry value. So we have four cards in hand. And kind of like from playing that deck a fair amount, uh, I definitely know where the somewhat harder portions of the deck to get stuff going. Like like it has way less cantrip, you know, action and stuff. So you're able to turn turn off its surveil engine early, so they can't get like even one or two scries. Pretty big deal. Um, we could get all right, massively punished. All right, let's draw another bolt, please. So that was the way I get blown out there. But we have a chance. Since they don't even have a breach engine going. Um, another thing to remember. Like, luckily they can't go writ writ uh, gifts. <laughs> that would be way more terrifying. So we didn't get like this was like I think the the worst case scenario for it's like you know like in our commander and stuff, but we're not it, it's not a game over, but just based on cards in hand, they'd have to have some good stuff going on. Since now even like a breach doesn't help. Also, that's another reason why it's kind of awkward with fluster storms in the matchup is like breach is not uh, counterable there. So nothing to remember. Even independent of Veil. Like, here I think they're holding up Veil. Which is totally fine. Luckily, our hand does not care about that. We have Wish, not... uh. And uh, this is the turn that we got to do something. So I have an idea of what to do. So, Electromancer. Ritual. I just want to see what they do. They have, if they have removal for it, like, okay. Right? Unfortunate. I was hoping they'd respond again. Wish. Five. From six. If we had one more mana, I would just jam empty here. Um, actually, no, if I had one more mana, I would jam... Uh, yeah, it's still jam empty. Since our graveyard's not big enough for Piff. But we're going to Galvanic Relay. There you go. Hope for the best. It's for six. What are we getting? Brawl? Rit? Wish? Land? 
Two Baralls. Oh, wow. That was a very bad uh, Galvanic, but we might be able to make it work. Yep, Veil for Cycle. They had the Veil that we knew about. We cast Electromancer. Am I dead? What are we doing next turn? That's a good question. Doot, doot, doot. Yeah. Come on, land off the top. <laughs> I would also take Manamorphose if they tap out. Take the hit. Plan another one. What is this? Morphos. Okay. Yeah. All right. That's a bit scary now. Oh. Oh. Oh, wow. Are they this version with like Aves and stuff? I can dig it. Like, that's really bad for me. But yeah. Uh huh. Please whiff. But we'll just sit back, relax, see what they do. So they're, I guess, on, either on the hunt, they either have or on the hunt for a uh, Underworld Breach, I think. They don't have, like, a nice engine going. Okay, Ritual, sure. Yep, yeah, now I think we're dead. No, we're not. Never mind. We are not dead yet. <laughs> Depends what they have in hand. They have, the, 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 the onus is on them to figure it out. Mm-hmm. What you gonna do, opponent? Mm-hmm. Do they have a spell in hand? If they have a spell in hand, I assume they would cast it. Yep. Casting Breach, that's fine. What are you milling? Galvanic Relay? Sure. Gonna cast it? Mm-hmm. Or are we casting Morphos and hoping for better? Which is also very reasonable. Like, there's two lines here I think that they would take. Would be Morphos or Galvanic here to flashback. Morphos would be flip the top card graveyard, hope you get another spell to put in there. Then flashback uh, Galvanic, so you get, like, another storm on it. Pretty big deal. No matter what, though, this is going to be very helpful for if we have to go to game three. To see what they've got if this is the uh the ave build which is pretty cool yep more oh wow they just exiled relay too just going for it i'm in like so they're playing into the fear of this i'm in i'm in i know what we're doing on our turn they have to draw like grape shot they put it on top that's terrifying is it Grape Shot? Mm -hmm. Did you get lucky? Oh, yeah. So they top decked literal perfects. Um, yeah. To kill us. Because they're also flipping a card, yeah. Oh, unfortunate. <laughs> so, yeah, that was the card I was afraid of. Like, they had to literally dig for Grape Shot there. I think that, um, based on also what we exiled, um, they should have left the Galvanic Relay in the graveyard as, um, as a safety net, but they got there. Um, have our lightning bolts. I'm actually going to put this in over bolt four. Since we're on the play, so I want to be more aggressive. Having all of my bears. Uh, again, leaving in, like, I want to have seven payoffs. So, important there as well. Sure. I'll keep this. Up oh, and they kept as well. Good to know. Um, I'm just gonna play Delta as I go. I may fetch shock with it. Like, also, like with my graveyard, since we're playing such a fast matchup, I want to fill it up as much as possible to open up uh, the best uh, breach lines. You know, since our game is so compact, as far as turns and stuff. What are you casting? Mm-hmm. So yeah, I guess last game, if I would have uh, killed the Anarchomancer or waited, we 
probably would have won that game. So important to note. Okay. That shock. I'm gonna use consider here. I can still bolt bolt that on my turn if I want to. Since I don't really have a scripted turn to play, might as well. Oh, graveyard. All right, drawing a land there was very, very non-ideal. Draw a non-land card, please. All right, not bad. I'm just going to kill that. Close tapped. So go. We can draw Electromancer or Brawl next turn if they tap out. Like, awesome. If they don't tap out, like, not a big deal either. An Archimancer? Sure. All right, bear, please, or bolt. Or we can just draw worst possible. All right, bolt, please. Go on top. Morphos, make blue, red. Make, just literally digging for lightning bolt. <laughs> Since this gets me two cards in. All right, consider. Does this help me by keeping it? This will give me to four mana this turn, five, six next turn. Yeah, that's fine, I guess. Because then I could rid out a yard, start trying to go off. Sure. Good. Yeah, we're probably dead, though. Mm-hmm. Sure. Land. That's what I'm assuming they're choosing. Non-land. Underworld Breach. Oh, cool. So we're probably just straight dead. Yes, yeah. So again, like, I guess I'm just an incompetent idiot for not uh, saving my bolt for the Anarchomancer again. Yep. What do you have? Mm -hmm. Hopefully I don't just get wrecked again, but most likely will be. Mm -hmm. Sure. All right, they they bend it. All right, don't have anything, please. Can your draw also be bad? <laughs> like if you have something, it's not hard. Okay. Maybe they don't have anything. Okay. Oh, okay. I accept. All right, whiff. That's a whiff. Can we just win? Uh, no, we do not have the ability to just win. We need to get a bit lucky. We can do some stuff, though. Like, we're not, like, just dead in the water, but we we uh, do need to... Um, do something here. Do what they do. Ooh, uh. Well, they're thinking. That's a good sign. That means that it's not, like, auto-dead. Cast it again. Oh, empty. Oh, okay. Interesting. I'm surprised they did that. If I were them, I would have flashed back my um, Strike It Rich using the two mana floating and actually the flashback ability, not the um, escape. That way you get an extra free mill. You're at two cards. Here they produce super lethal, um, but you still have lethal um, both turns because they're attacking me for 2 to 15. So you just take away 16 goblins. Like, but they had 14 goblins, right? So it'd be 14, 15, 16, 17, so I'd be dead anyway. So they, they could have uh, been one card deeper towards uh, either, oh, another galvanic relay. Just more stuff to do things. 
that we have a chance. All right, can I draw a bear, please? Or we can just draw a land for like the billionth time. Um, that's frustrating. Yeah, now like if we drew a bear here, probably easy kill. But unfortunately, we uh, don't run good cards. So they're getting rewarded for emptying again for some reason. But that is unfortunate for us. Blue red. All right, can I please draw a bear? Or we can just draw a land again. Cool. Could we win with Piff? You mean what we're doing? That's what I'm attempting to do. Yeah, we're just dead. Cool. Nothing we did mattered. It feels bad. But I deserve to lose that match. I played like a waste of a human being by not uh, bolting the an Archimancer both times. So two and two could be three one if I was not bad at this game. Run the draw. Yeah, I'll keep this. We just start jamming bears. Hope for the best. What are we up against? Oh, um, scales. Not bad. Ravager, sure. Hmm. Well, I'll fetch shock here. It's because we'd have to fetch next turn anyway for whatever we do. So just to get that out of the way. Um. All right. Bottom top. We have gifts, we have a payoff, we might be able to do this. Spiralov? Barrel, your turn. Do we get to kill you? They have a Ravager. Holding jar's fine. Ravager, sure. The boss, sure. You can't kill me. Okay. Interesting. I'll take five. Okay, turn two turn clock. All right, all right. I respect it. My turn. Ritual. There we go. Rit. Rit. Like to buzz. Um, the reason I cast the second reducer is because this is a standard gifts line, so therefore I'm casting gifts plus um cast in flame, so I do net the mana back and could potentially Net up later. That was why I did that. Rit, Rit, Morphos, Piff. All right. That was perfect. Sure, blue, red. All right. Well, the deck just wants to give it all to us today. Jesus. Oh, yeah, it only costs two. Cool. Boop. 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 Just racking up the storm count so I only have to do one one big clicky. Oh, Rager. Oh, thanks so much for that tier one sub. Really appreciate that. Hope you're doing well in those 19 months. Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah, I'm trying. I, I am... Uh... Trying to, to work on Storm. Appreciate it. I, I do want to be able to get to a good list. Sorry I play it so badly all the time. Sure. Um, why not Grape Shot, Flashback, Grape Shot? Um, as I verbalized like two minutes ago, I'm just doing it so I only have to cast Grape Shot once so I don't have to click through twice to minimize clickies. Yeah, I, I'm not. I'm not worried at all about that. But that—that's why I'm doing it this way. 
I just don't want to do it twice. Oh no, I mean I, I'm I, I yeeted the one match uh with the ignite memories. That was unacceptable. <laughs> Empty Lawrence for pleasure. Oh yeah. If, uh, if it wasn't for the fact that I was specifically doing the avoid for, for that, yeah, like no, that would be like, yeah, if you want to do that, like it's totally reasonable. What I should have maybe done there is like if I really wanted to play technically correct, I also should have wished for ignite memories. Uh, reason being is it would reveal the card in their hand. Um if you want information. So that's another thing there. Like, and that's just like a very like that'd be something I would probably do if I were at like like an open or like or like you know NRG. I would say if you're going to the Nerd Rage Gaming this weekend, uh, the NRG series, like that'd be something I would do. Just you know, m just to always maximize um, in those situations. Um, Reman's not so great. Empty, not so great. Um, put those out. Port in. Flame slash. That's fine. I'm gonna leave it, it it might seem weird, but I'm leaving the shattering spree in the sideboard. But I don't really know what I want to do otherwise. Like hmm. Yeah, I'd rather have the shattering spree in my sideboard. I think. We only have one piff, three gifts there. Yeah, that's fine. Like they're gonna have like Graveyard hate, but since we have wish, I'm not as worried. Like being able to sidestep more graveyard hate with our deck, like you know, we we still wish for go back into the graveyard a lot, but it's not as mission critical. What did I miss? Uh. Sure, keep. Have a slow, disruptive hand, opponent. Like we have the one past in flames, so that's kind of the meh. Or um, I'm just gonna play Spire Bluff first, I guess. So here, since it's consider, if this were Serum Visions, I would 100% uh, put a Delta Pet Shock. Okay. Ozolith, uh, responses. Consider. I'm gonna graveyard that. Alright. Not bad. Um. Hmm. What am I going to do? Yeah, we're playing Baral here. So, like, this is actually an empty, or an interesting situation. So, here you have to think about between Electromancer and Baral, Baral being, like, the better card, slightly. But here you definitely want to cast Baral, because uh, even though it could die to the Ballista, it's like, it makes it so they can't just play land, put a counter on it, kill our Electromancer. They want to use up their whole turn. Um, and also, it, like, requires them to do some work there to get three counters on this. Um, and we still have the ability next turn to do some stuff. I'm only going to fetch a basic island here, but do want to thin the library. We we have no cards on bottom. We don't want to draw stuff like that. So do this. I still have the second red source just in case, for instance, say we draw a Morphos next turn or something. All right, your turn, opponent. Actually, well, uh, I'm going to re-up on some water here. Do I have an F8 to their turn? All right, be right back, everyone. Ugh, okay. All right. Oh, they had Dismember. And so we're dead next turn? Cool. Um... Can I draw something good? Lightning Bolt would be awesome. Hmm. 
Ooh. That's interesting. Yeah, if they didn't have Dismember last turn, this would be a whole different world, because then they would have used the Ravager, probably kill the Baral, had to sack it already, if Ballista wasn't lethal. But I'm just going to shock myself and say go. I think we're not in good shape this game, but how are we dead next turn? Why would I play Electromancer? Like, what purpose does uh, playing Electromancer serve there? Like, they have the Ozolith on board. They have all of these artifacts. They had two cards. So it's like, we're probably dead because what they can do is they can sack everything to Ravager, sacrifice Ravager, put everything on Ballista, then Ozolith gets counters. Ballista gets even bigger. They attack on in. And kill me. So we get the discount next turn? Yeah, but we die then, right? If they have a hand that has not complete blanks. So it's like, yeah, like, again, there, it's just playing the Electromancer then, like, then they can easily kill it, even if they don't go for a kill, and then we untap on our turn, and then we still, we're in the same situation, only, like, with less stuff. So, like, that's kind of the idea there. It's like, uh, what I'm trying to get at is more like, uh, there has to be like like thinking through like why you want to do something right like if you don't have a reason why you're doing it like why bother right uh, also by not playing it that last turn I held up Ottawara so if they ever did go all in I'd be able to interfere and uh, not die and then probably gain a few turns so there was like a lot of reasons there for me not to do any of the super easy stuff um, cool they didn't do any Ozolith stuff um now I will writ. Gifts. Is it Veil? No, okay. Uh, ritual. Ritual. Morphos. Bolt, I guess? Or uh, do I want Grape Shot? Um, hmm. Scrub grape shot. Do they do? Yep, we didn't die. Like their hand is actual blanks, but like you know, and also we maintained up this gifts by not doing that. So like, me not playing the electromancer there didn't price me out of anything. So that's kind of the idea there too. Is that like kind of like why I was more like those are the questions you want to ask. Like you know, because like the idea is uh, the easiest way for us to just like lose in those situations is to autopilot like i will just do xyz or something um interesting that's interesting um so if this Ottawara was a red source that'd be so much nicer because if it was a red source i could just play it untapped play my electromancer then i have two red so i can respond to stuff but um alas we need to do this first. Okay, yeah, this. Drawing the lightning bolt means that I have a good setup to um oh, like if they decide to do an all-in play we can maybe punish that. Put the plus and plus encounter on it. Okay. Let's see, what would they have to do here? Um, so yeah, I'll just say that's fine. Three, four, yeah, okay, yeah, that's totally fine. Nexus? Okay. Is this another sack in response? What else you got? Oh, I have responses, opponent. Yeah, what is the exact text on Oslo? It's beginning of combat's the only way to trigger it, right? Okay. Well, um Bolt. So even if they didn't sack the Ravager here, say they maintain the Ravager, um and I was so I wouldn't be able to bolt in response to kill you know, because then they would just, you know, beef it up. 
uh, I had two floating, so then I would let the Electromancer come into play, then I could writ, they would respond, and then I would respond with Morphos, so I'd go up to six total and could pass in flames. This just made it a lot easier. Why not bolt the Ballista before playing Electromancer? Because then they just do all this, and then they hold up, and then can kill Electromancer. Since I had the ability to, to piff anyway if they went all in, and thus if they go all in like this, um, I might be able to do a lot more. Like, say, you know, might be other cool stuff going on. Since I, no matter what, maintain the ability here. And if I bolt first, then I don't actually have that ability. So if I bolt first, then I'm actually one mana short of um, being able to piff. So if I did, so like, for instance, here, you'll notice that I only have this two, so I can only go up to five. Um, if I bolt first, then I would only have this available. So I'd have to um, draw a ritual off this Morpho, so I'm dead because then they would have a 5-5 five, five Ballista, so they could shoot this twice. So yeah, if I bolt first there, I lose the game. Like, yeah. Like, I know that's kind of weird. But yeah, since they would be able to make it a 5-5. Five, five. Yeah, and I guess, yeah, exactly. Like, that was, like, my thought process, yeah, with that. Like, no, but that, like, bolting the ballista to start, that's also a good thing to, like, notice. Um, so I managed to 3-2 that. Could have been a 4-1 league. Um, the deck's pretty good. Yeah, no, 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 I'm not, I'm not worried about, like, my record with it, like, you know, for play points and stuff. Like, I just feel bad because, you know, I know you all want to see the, the deck awesome. Just don't want to let you all down. Yeah, I'm consistently 3 2 and throwing matches 10 ways to Sunday. Ooh, where's the saga? Is that worth money? Is that still something or did that get crushed? Ha 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 ha.